Hi, welcome to Sweet Pete's. My name is Allison Berenger, and I'm one of the owners of Sweet Pete's, Jacksonville's only all natural candy shop. Everything in our store is all natural, which means we use no hydrogenated fats, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, and no artificial colors. We're proud to have a gluten-free kitchen, and everything we make here is gluten-free, and we offer lots of vegan varieties as well, including vegan sundaes. Our shop has been open for almost a year and a half, and we were founded by Peter Beringer, who is also the Peter of Peterbrook Chocolatier, and has been a local candy maker here in Jacksonville for almost 20 years. So come visit us, and I hope you enjoy learning all about cherry cordials for Valentine's Day. Uh, most of you have probably had a candy cherry that has a liquid center. The liquid center uh, is created by a special type of sugar that we're gonna create, it's called fondant. And the fondant is liquefied with an enzyme called invertase. By using these two sugars together, they become liquefied and you have a liquid center encapsulated in a chocolate shell with a cherry inside. For these particular cherries, we've had them soaking in Grand Marnier for a week or two. They're gonna have a little bit of a punch to them. Before we get started with uh, dipping the cherries into chocolate, we have to um, create what is called a fondant. So with these three ingredients I have uh, put together, I've got four cups of granulated sugar, and we have three quarters of a cup of filtered water. The third thing I'm gonna add is glucose. It's also known as in the supermarket, you can, you can use Cairo, or if you prefer not to use corn-based products or corn syrup, there are these types of products available, uh, corn syrup replacement that is made by, with tapioca. We are going to stir these three ingredients together until they are fully mixed together and become a paste. We're going to uh, heat this to the temperature of 236 degrees, and the heat is gonna go on high. In the meantime, I've taken our candy thermometer, which we'll need for this process, and I've soaked it in hot water. I've taken this candy thermometer and put it in hot water because I don't want to shock it. If in a cold room on a day like this, setting a, going into a hot pot could crack the glass. But once this reaches a boil, we will cover it uh, for two minutes. While this is cooking, I'm gonna spray this pan with canola oil. Anything that touches the candy ought to be oiled. Once the temperature reaches 236, we'll pull it off. So this batch of fondant, or which will become a batch of fondant, needs to rest for just a approximately 10 or 15 minutes. And this needs to go all the way down to about 120 degrees. While this mixture is cooling, we're gonna take a little bit of cold water and, and splash it on the top of the fondant mixture. So we're gonna pour this mixture into a KitchenAid bowl and using the beater attachment, we're gonna cream this fondant. I've set a timer for 12 minutes. The process usually doesn't take longer than 12 minutes. Somewhere between eight and 12 minutes, this will change texture instantly. And that is, uh, it'll be what you would call creaming sugar. Now you can see. Yep. Look at that. So using a scraper, you wanna get the fondant out of the pan. We're gonna dip these cherries into the fondant. Now, in order to make this work, the, the, the fondant has to be liquid. Um, in this case, we're just going to put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds at a time until we get it nice and soft. This is liquefied. And we're going to add two teaspoons of Invertase. Invertase is available at candy supply stores. You may have to reheat this several times, which is okay as long as you don't exceed 170 degrees in that range. So we're taking, uh, these are cherries with stems. They're all natural. They have no red 40. They um, are classic maraschino cherries in a simple syrup. 
with no high fructose corn syrup. These are all natural. And we're gonna dip them into the fondant by the stem. As you can see, I've been letting the chair, while we've been cooking this fondant, I have been allowing the cherries to rest on a paper towel that's going to absorb the moisture. And the idea is just to get a nice coating on the outside of the cherry, just like this. So our final step is to dip the ch cherry cordial in chocolate. In this case, it's going to get a milk chocolate coating. They're also very good in dark chocolate as well. Make sure that uh, where they have little drippings of fondant, so we just want to make sure that it's clear of those. We're going to grab it by the stem, and then we'll go right down into the chocolate, just like that. You want to dip partially up the stem for one reason, and that is because it, inevitably these will leak. So, um, and they one area where they leak the most is right at the stem. Once these cherries are dipped in chocolate, the enzyme will go to work, breaking down the fondant into a liquid. And that process, in order to reach full maturity, takes approximately 10 days. However, you may not want to wait 10 days to eat these. <laughs> so it's okay, they'll be good right away, but they will be the, the, they'll have the best texture in 10 days if you can wait that long. I don't know that I've ever waited 10 full days to start eating these, but they tell me that it's the way to go. <laughs>